Hello, my name is Brenda Award. This video is called, What is Dual Agency for Buyers and Sellers? Buyers and sellers, a dual agency is when one real estate agent handles both sides of the home sale transaction from offer to closing. This opportunity is not in all states. Most of the time, buyers works with a buyer's agent who assists them in getting the best price for the home they want to purchase. The seller uses a listing agent who enters the listings on the MLS, scheduling, showing, and negotiate with the buyers to get the highest possible sales price. Because the agent cannot fight for both interests, the competing parties prefer to work with their own agent. This video includes info on one, sometimes both sides might choose to work as a dual agency. Two, is a dual agency illegal in some states? And three, why is dual agency illegal in some states? Number one, both sides might choose to work as a dual agency. Buyers and sellers, there are times dual agency can be used to your advantage. One reason to utilize dual agency is when there is a possibility of closing the transaction faster. Fewer chances of a breakdown in communications among the parties. If both the buyer and the seller agree to deal with the same dual agency. Also, the dual agency might be the only option for buyers and sellers depending on the area the property is located. For example, a small community in this situation, there still is a problem because sellers strive to get the high price and the buyers strive to get the lowest price, which makes it hard for a dual agency to meet both of the buyer's goals. Two, is a dual agency illegal in some states? The answer to that question is yes, because the buyer's agent wants to get the lowest price and the listing agent wants to get the highest price. The agents cannot represent the best interest of both sides of any transaction. Number three, why is a dual agency illegal in some states? Because real estate agents have a fiduciary duty, which involves trust, to represent their clients' best financial interests. In many states, they are unable to perform these duties. The dual agency then violates the fiduciary duties of the real estate agent. Things could happen, for example, a buyer working with a dual agent might end up bidding higher because the agent talked them into a higher price range or the seller might accept a lower sales price because the agent convinced the seller this is a great offer supporting the buyer. Some agents might hope for a dual agency to get the entire commission that is dealt out to the buyer and seller agents. In dual agency, the listing agent might consider fighting harder for the seller to enable them to get the entire commission. Just remember, a high sales price means a high commission to take home. The eight states where dual agency is not allowed is Alaska, Colorado, Florida, Kansas, Merlin, Texas, Vermont, Wyoming. Dual agency is allowed in most states. However, they must disclose this information to the buyer and the seller or risk losing their real estate license. This information must be reviewed and signed by both the buyer and the seller. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking the thumbs up, subscribing, or leaving comments below. My name is Brenda Hayward, and thanks for your time.